Hello and welcome everyone, Michael here from Matavism team. Today in quick tutorial I'll show you how to upgrade Atavism server on a virtual machine provided by Atavism team. We'll update a we'll upgrade a Atavism server from version 2018.1.3 to the latest release that means 2018.2. So to start, we need to verify and if needed, stop Atavism server. So I'll just minimize this window. First of all, we need to ensure that our uh, virtual machine it's running. In my case, yes, it's up and running. So we'll go to Atavism. <coughs> Sorry, we'll go to Unity. We'll go to Atavism editor. And as you're using the virtual machine pre-built by us, uh, you can just uh, check on indicators. In this case, it's showing me that the servers are part of, so that's fine. <coughs> that means we can now proceed with the upgrading the Atavism server. To do so, we'll need to connect to server uh, using the for example, WinSCP will connect to my test server. The default, well, the username to log in its root. And the password, if you didn't change it, it's Atavism. If you change it, you need to put on the password that you're using now. Okay, so first of all, we need to remove this uh, old uh, zip file. And also we need to remove the atavism underscore server directory and ensure that it is on in the root directory. So we'll just do the delete and okay. Okay, so they so our server is gone. What we need to do now is we need to upload the latest server. Like I mentioned earlier, it's uh, 2018.2.0. So we'll just copy using the F5. The virtual machine itself it will just uh, unzip the file. Like you can see, it's quite fast. Okay. So now we can go to this virtual machine and using the same address what you use uh, to initially prepare your system so it is the IP address of your server forward slash uh, Atavism forward slash installation and then forward slash install.php and press enter like you can see, we slightly upgraded the website. It's slightly more modern. And here we need to put on our details. So the email address that was used for the for obtaining a Tavism license. Okay, and we need to also enter the license key. Then we need to use the, the database user and the password. If you didn't modify anything, it will be Atavism and the password is also Atavism. And the last part is, it is preferred to use the same settings what last time, but it is up to you. So if you use the IP address, now you can, the system will display your current uh, IP address. So you just need to enter it. And if you decide to use fully qualified domain name, you just need to type the, the domain name. In our case, we'll use the IP address. So. Okay, 
and as we doing the uh, update from uh, Provis version and I know that I use the demo data so I just need to go update current at Havis with the demo data and press submit now before we do this I'll just explain two other, well three other options so they we have the top one it's a install well it is a new installation so for if you decide to just you don't care what was there in all database you can just uh, select this option basing on this that you will create a just pure system without any data the next option is uh, using a just new installation with demo data and then it is equivalent on upgrade so if you're upgrading Atavism without demo data you need to select this one it's the core edition and if you're using the demo data you just need to select the last option so now we can press submit like you can see there is not too many changes uh, in the database side so everything looks okay we didn't get any errors so our system should be ready to run just to ensure that everything works fine uh, we can still stop and start the Atavism server using the old client but obviously it is highly recommended to upgrade to the uh, proper version of Atavism editor that you can download from your A panel so we'll just see if the system can start if everything looks okay then these two icons should change to the different color just give it a moment to refresh and like you can see the two systems are up and running so that's how you're doing the upgrade to the newest version just one thing to remember about is that a you can do currently only upgrade from the, the literally previous version so you can't do direct upgrade from version for example 2018.1.2 first of all you need to upgrade to the next one in this case it was 2018.1.3 and then you can upgrade to next one i hope so everything will work for you if you have any questions you can contact with us on this card if you have if you need to post something you can always visit our forum and we also are happy to support you through the email so you can always send us email thank you for watching see you next time